If you're on any social media network, you'll know the curse of trying to find a decent profile photo. This is especially important on something like LinkedIn, where you're usually meeting professionals who you might want to work with. And you'll find that some people maybe upload their night out photo, a couple's photo, just something that isn't quite suitable. Now, if you're a little bit photo shy, don't worry, you can fix this with AI thanks to a new service I have found and put to the test. Aragon takes your photos, your selfie photos, generates an AI model and can then use that model to create professional looking photos which you can then use on sites such as LinkedIn and it looked to be very well trusted and used and the examples look pretty good quality they offer a range of packages which i like as well the main difference just being the amount of photos you get out and how quick it takes to process so i went for the top end one to show you what you get for your 69 dollars the process itself is very simple you fill out some details i thought you just upload photos but you don't you actually give it some background information so you select your profession you select the headshot reason i assume this influences the output and i would have liked to have seen some examples maybe that if you select linkedin what kind of style are you getting if you select author what kind of style are you getting you then need to pop in some information about your physical background and appearance and then it will give you guidance on what's a good upload and a bad upload and it really is a case of rubbish in rubbish out so take this seriously now you might be surprised to know that someone on YouTube doesn't have a stack of selfies and so this next part was quite difficult because I wanted to upload as many as possible. Uh, I only managed to find uh, maybe 14 or so decent recent selfies. The system then goes through and checks them and will give you feedback on the ones that aren't suitable and you can click on the photo and it will tell you. So for example, this one was a cutout and it wanted something with a background, although interestingly it did accept a couple that had cutouts and this one had too many faces in it so it couldn't identify me. I suppose I could have blurred them but instead I've just deleted the two. Once you're happy, you then have to sit back and wait as it can take a couple of hours for it to generate all your headshots. The package I chose said 200 plus and I ended up with 256. When you click in, you get a nice interface that allows you to go through. They're all this portrait size. So what you'll want to do is download the ones you like and then crop them if you want them as a profile photo. There's quite a wide range of styles and it's a little bit hit and miss. Some look really good. Some, um, I, don't, I don't really know how to describe them. What I don't, don't even know who that is. Um, that's a great one because I actually do have a grey suit. So that could be a photo of me. Scrolling through, you can see there's a wide range of photos and backdrops. And there's some that are excellent, some that are a little bit of a miss. But I suspect that's mainly due to the photos I gave it. They weren't necessarily the best material. If you happen to be a selfie lover, I'm sure you'll get even better results than this. You can look at each one in a expanded view and it has a favorites selector. So if you like one of them, you can mark it as a favorite or you can just press download. It is ready to go. Now I'm gonna crop some of these because like so many AI programs, sometimes the hands look a little bit funny and I would want these more as a profile shot. So I'd want it one by one rather than portrait. But uh, while there's quite a few interesting ones, I actually have found some that are very good. So here's Chilled Mark on vacation. Here we have Smart Mark out for dinner in a nice gray suit. And here we have Mark taking a stapler for a walk. I'm not really sure what that's about. Of course, these are just photo files. They're just image files, which means you can bring them into any editor that you've got. You can apply filters, you can crop it so that it's the correct aspect ratio for a profile. And that's also useful if you've got photos that have slightly unusual looking hands in them. You can crop those out and retain a decent shot. Given I didn't give it that many selfies to work with, I think it's done a very good job. And I'm sure if you've got plenty of far better quality selfies than I have, you'll get even better output. There will always be a little bit of wastage, but you're sure to find something to suit your needs. It's very reasonably priced. And so if you want to give this a go, I've got an affiliate link down below. I'd appreciate it if you click that and let me know what you think in the comments. Which image should I be using for my LinkedIn profile?